Look where we are. Back amongst the hills of Scotland, don't you know? That there's the arse end of the Cheviots. And little D is having a little mooch up there, see what the crack is. It's probably going to end up being, hold on, it's probably going to end up being a van night tonight. A lot later than I expected. I just don't know why. Well, I do, I went home first. Oh man, he can't play out. So I'm out by myself for two nights. Scottish borders, I need another couple of trips here before I, uh, you know, I'm quite satisfied with what I've done in the area. <laughs> and I've been looking at this little spot up here for the last couple of the last couple of times I've been up. Uh, so we'll see what the crack is. That's the arc I can see is it's after seven. I can't see his uh, grabbing a tent out. Oh, spin round to get that nice view. I can't see his getting a tent out. Oh guess what I've got? Three tents sold and one boat. Got a cracking good deal <laughs> on a nature hike Star River 2 uh, on Amazon, 70 quid. We'll see what it's like. If it's no good, I'll just send it back. Best of both worlds. So I've got a new Wendy house to play out with. We're in Scotland. It is Wednesday. I've got Thursday and Friday off. We'll have some fun, eh? <laughs> Beats. There's loads of flies up here, but wow, what a place. Oh, on my hands. Might be smidged up to the hilt for here. I just sort of knew this would be ace. Look at it. Meadow like grass. Unfortunately, just sort of a beautiful, beautiful, uh, big sized deer as well. Just gracefully you leap over the fence there. Now, unfortunately, that means ticks. I'll tell you what, I'd, I'd put up with blinking ticks for this. Wow. And flies. That's, the, that's me blowing them off my hands. Uh, reach then I will... Obviously I can't do it tonight because it's after 8 o'clock now. So I got back down to the car and then back, back up here. Uh, right, decisions, decisions. Ho <laughs> ho! Wow. Stunners, as always, you would expect nothing less, would you? Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a lingo night. It's 8 o'clock, time I got back up here. Be looking at 9. What's the point? I want to enjoy when I come up here. I want to get up here, have my 10 pitch for about, I don't know, 6 ish. Sit out, be on tick watch. Get that quiet. Be smidged up to the, I'll be smidged up to the hilt. And I'll sit and watch for good looking deers just ambling past. That's what it's all about. I think doing that now. Get up the age where you enjoy doing that. Oh, yes. You can't lesser known fact. Richie of Scotland, eh? that is Lionel Richie's brother's firm, eh? and his name is Mabolza. You're welcome. Baby grouse season, and you spot the baby grouse. There they are. There's bloody hordes of them. Look at them all. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, look at that. Uh, I found a mothership. <laughs> It's a road runner. Get it. All right, mate. The horses are on the twack. I think I better sort of stop skits in the mouth. I had a late start. I uh, had a peculiar sleep, put it that way. I overslept again. I'm doing some serious oversleeping lately. I was at the Google that and see if there's anything serious. Uh, so yes, an exceedingly late start, but thankfully I was in the lingo. Uh, so I got me got myself out eventually. It's heading back up the hill I wanted to go back up and then I seen this truck heading off and I was like, oh we have missed a half a morning's exercise. Come on, we'll go and have a look down here. There actually was hill forts up this way I did want to have a look at. Uh, I couldn't see any proper track on me at West Map, so oh. <laughs> So we'll just have a, we'll have a deep where it goes. If not, then back up the hill, Donna. That way is a no-no. I got further, 10 minutes up there, uh, steadily climbing up. Uh, I had a little bash to see if I could get view ranger working. Hurrah, no signal, but view ranger was working. Showed us that it just went round in a circle, the track, and I, uh, I couldn't access the hill forts I was wanting to see. So I'm heading back down, past the chicken ranch, yeah? no, the grouse ranch. We'll need be going that way because the bridge is down, it's out of action. A hill fort, but look at that. It's been an absolute fortress, this one, hasn't it? You would have felt it's safe, it's out in here. Wow, see the back edge of the cheat of the bear uh, hen hole there. Orchard oh, cairn, there's a shill. Uh, where are we? Windy Gale is over that way. Bloody fabulous views. Even better when I get my little spot. It's not cold, but dear me, that weather's changed. Spattering on the rain. That took a little bit of getting up, I'll be honest. But for 70 quid, I'm quite a happy little donna. We'll see, why, <laughs> we'll see how happy I am once this uh, storm's passed. I don't think it's a storm. Okie dokie peeps, time to batten down the hatches and bust out some Budweiser. Little D reporting from up a hill just over the borders in Nature Hikes Star River 2 which I got for a ridiculously cheap 70 price, uh, sorry 70 pounds on Amazon. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> so that's your blows. That's like a little face, oh that's it. I'm officially in love with it. It's got a little face there. You can see the two eyes in the mouth. I don't know what to call her. It's definitely a girl's tent. It's Nature Hike's take on a uh, copper spur, a big aggie. Copper spur too. <laughs> oh, look at the pout. What do I call it? 
something to do with orange or peach and potin. <laughs> e diablo. Right. Let's have a quick look in. Slightly different gear I'm using at the minute. So here we go. Into the palace. Oh. Bango. It's Ultra Light Pro 300 uh, sleeping bag. It's supposed to take you comfortably down to minus one. Uh, no chance. If it does the night, I'll be happy. It's my Osprey 48 Exos. Oh, what else have I got? I have got welcome can of cider. Already been chinned. That's my cooking setup thing for the cook later on with. Uh, special things. Down jacket. Weather's been really sketchy lately. No chance I'm going to come up here without a, a nice warm jacket. Uh, I've got my Trekology UL50, which I am loving at the minute. Absolutely loving it. That? What's that, Donna? Donna, what is it? On the road, it's pictures all over it. What the hell? What the hell is it, Donna? Nope, I don't know what that is. Beer cans. It's a thick fish. More carrying stuff and. I'm unsure what that is. Let's have a look. This is, I've had this a couple of years. Oh, look at that, eh? That is the perfect way to carry four cans of Budweiser up a hill. You are more than welcome. I haven't shared that with you for bloody years. <laughs> As Eric Newmark would say. <sighs> After the storms, just hitting it a little bit. It's not going to be a storm, just going to be a little bit rainy. I'm all right. I've got four cans of Budweiser in my little travel case. Yes. <laughs> I got a veggie chili. I got a Bluetooth speaker. And I got a couple of bags of snack right. What could possibly go wrong? I quite love the tent. £70, what a bargain for the space. Getting a little bit of a rain test tonight. This afternoon, I mean, you wouldn't think it was half past five, would you? It's only half past eleven at night, this colour at the minute. Oh, look how cool I am with my glasses up there. Huh? Look like a real Charles as soon as I put them on. Oh! I do admit, I, I absolutely love this sound. Not when I need to go to the toilet, I don't, but I do love this sound before I need to go to the toilet when I'm sat in the tent. Having Budweiser's just for to ease the boredom, I'll be honest. No other reason I'm having them. Uh, it's very nice in here. I was very pleased with the purchase. I'll catch it a little bit. Been raining for about four hours. I'm like camped in a little bit of a dip. The dip's got run off this way and run off that way. So hopefully back in the day they knew how to build a, a hill fort for not to get swamped down here. Another good little tip when you're setting up camp and I want to be out with the wind because the wind was was whipping down down over the hill. Check for like the grasses and reeds that would only like grow in wet conditions. This was all a beautiful meadow grass, albeit like a bit longer than meadow grass. Meadow grass and uh, white thrift. I believe that's the right word for it. Let me buy three flowers, 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 or flowers. So I think I'm quite safe where I am. I shouldn't get bogged out. I'll be honest, mind this bloody nature egg tent's got a pretty decent little bathtub on that. Compared to the Cloud Peak, totally different tents, mind. Cloud Peak is solid. This one, if the wind, if the wind shot in from there, that would, that, that would, flaps with the door would be right in. 
the same on that side. Tent for every occasion. Uh, where was I? So yeah, they pitched the tent perfectly right for the way the wind was when I pitched the tent. The wind hasn't changed much. I'll be all right here. What's the worst that can happen? I'm leaving. I'm 45 minutes away from the van. I've nearly chinned all my lager. So yeah, not much more to report. Uh, I, I've actually got a mobile signal for the first time in like a day. Which is, I'm going to go into the AE and have a, like a, an emergency phone for up a hill on the AE network because version's bloody rubbish up a hill. Uh, so I've just had a nice little chat with all my Annie on the phone there. I uh, managed to get the Met Office weather forecast. Weather's going to be in like this till. <laughs> It might ease off 9 o'clock in the morning, morning for like a little bit. Then I've got to gnash it down. It's like, I'll be right. I'll just have a wet, a wet, a wet pack down. So I'll gnash it back down the hill. What else was I going to tell you? No, really, because that's it. A, a, little, a little tip here. The great thing about light coloured tents, yeah? Now, Decathlon are selling this... Is it a four-class tent that's uh, known as, oh, what is it? It's like a, it's a, a dark colour tent. It's black inside. Oh, they've got a special name for it. I went over to Aaron and I saw someone have one on the on the backpack. Uh, great, oh, I will have a nice lie-in because the tent's dark. Tell you what, you'll not be able to see any beasties, any earwigs, any ticks, any ants crawling up the side of your tent. No, you'll have your nice little sleep in your dark tent. What's it called? The late lion or something? Uh, you have that lovely sleep. Just knowing that you're going to wake up to absolute hell the next morning, possibly. This tent, I can have a good check round before bed. Check it's not like, you know, ridiculously. Check it's not a snake slithering over the top. Can't do that in them dark tents. <laughs> oh, shut up. Don't have one, one beer. See you later. Right, a quick let you see what's going on before bedtime. That's it. And there should have been a lush sunset scene from there. Unfortunately, that's not the case tonight. I've had to wee in this vestibule this evening. Some of those dottles of rain aren't just on the outside of the tent. Signing off for now. Little Donna Van Senior reporting from the Nature Hike. Oh God, what's it called? Sandra. Night peeps. Morning peeps. Oh, resplendent as ever. Tens did smashing. Had some gusts last night, now it's ridiculously there. It's uh, been shaking the tent. No water ingress, still standing. Quarter past eight, yes, quarter past eight. I'm gonna get up, get my stuff packed up, uh, get off the hill and get back to Newcastle. I can uh, make a video. Back to work tomorrow. Uh, right. That's the morning. That's my tent, that's coming down, and I'm getting off the hill. See you at the lingo. Ciao. Listen, them trees, what a change from yesterday. I was nearly took my top off and was sunbathing yesterday afternoon. <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> right. Downhill, I'll get back to the lingo in a cheeky half an hour from here. Little D, report from Scotland.